Hello IHS and welcome to the first episode of this year's season of Lake Street News. I'm your host, Will. And I'm Zach. We've got a great first show with classic court drama, lots of local voting, trouble with TCAT, and more COVID news. There's a big court drama about a local small business. An intervention from the state comes in as New York Attorney General Letitia James sues Jason Fain, owner of the Ithaca Renting Company. According to the Attorney General, Mr. Fain had not been accepting low-income government assistance vouchers, whereas Fain claims that the Section 8 vouchers are a voluntary program, and as such, the state government cannot force companies to accept them, as they would be giving up their constitutional rights in doing so. The City of Ithaca held its last 2023 budget meeting on October 27th, completing the plans for the coming year. They considered funding to assist the homeless and keep TCPL open on Sundays. There was also debate about who should be shoveling the sidewalks, with the vote to increase the snow removal budget failing 6-4. to four. The whole budget vote will take place on November 2nd. The local bus system, TCAT, is facing multiple shortages, causing them to restrict many bus services. This started with a lack of mechanics, which lessened the number of available buses that they can use, peaking at almost 400 missed trips due to this shortage. There is also an ongoing bus driver shortage, which is affecting the entire country. These restrictions are said to be lifted on November 1st. Due to its staffing issues and effects of the pandemic still in play, TCAT ridership has increased almost 60% of its 2019 levels and does not seem to be rising much more. TCAT General Scott Vanderpool asks the public to be patient as the board of directors worked hard to fix this problem. Flu cases have increased more than 50% this flu season in New York and may reach even higher rates. Doctors say that the spike is a result of less COVID-19 precautions like wearing masks and learning or working remotely. About 15% of New Yorkers have gotten flu shots this year, and even less have gotten the new COVID-19 booster. There may also be co-circulation of flu and COVID-19, which can lead to serious symptoms and hospitalizations. The best defense for this is to get vaccinated. Tune, Tune in next, next time to Lake Street News, and, and have a good day. So, uh, I'd say that was a pretty good shoot. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's first season. Yeah. Yeah. How about that airplane food, huh? Oh, yeah, airplane food. Oh, it's so good. Those salted peanuts. Oh, 